Hello, welcome to VS Live. Today we're gonna take a look at this uh, small little project that I, I'm actually kind of doing, uh, basically involving uh, Google Earth Studio and also Blender and of course uh, Spare Chalk Notes and things like that. But yeah, I got I got a chance. Uh, I got invited to see the preview of Google Earth Studio. Uh, basically, you're able to uh, look at your our beautiful planet Earth and create some kind of uh, fly through, kind of like uh, the things uh, you can see the tools here is similar to what you see inside After Effects or even like a 3D software. Um, and here, I'm I'm using the point to point template of the Google Earth and basically flying between four different positions on Earth. The first one is Alice Spring in Australia and I jump and then kind of fly through to Bondi Beach in Sydney and I fly in uh, to New York I believe okay New York New York uh, USA and then fly to Blender uh, Blender Foundations in Amsterdam somewhere but yeah so that's really really fun and uh, you can see here uh, we can look at it uh, from the planet Earth and also we, we have uh, the camera position here from the top. Um, I, I recommend you if you have access to the Google Earth Studio, you will you will read the you will watch the tutorial anyway and then Google there's a, a couple of videos showing you how to work around this. But I just want to give you a quick preview. Uh, and you, so you can look at it from like you can have like full screen look at it from the camera or you can also look at it from the top and you have uh, like a Google Google Maps I like to work with uh, both the top and the camera so let's make this one the camera so so this is mostly like you have the like the camera data right the camera data the camera positions and then also here you have the lo longitude latitude altitude all the real 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 size units um, and I was thinking whether this can be exported um, into Blender and apparently you can it is actually quite easy uh, because Google provided you with a with the export so there, there's a, this 3d camera export when you're uh, later on if you try this yourself if you're rendering um, you can export it in there's an advanced option to include the 3d tracking data and that's uh, in the format of GSX and JSX is like a uh, file format it's, it's for After Effects uh, JavaScript um, format script that you can run to get the camera set up for you in After Effects but I want this to run in, inside Blender so I look around you can export um, like a JSX from Blender out to After Effects but if you want to bring JSX into Blender uh, at the moment we don't have it but I am using um, uh, Sphere Chalk and apparently you can do that let me show you very quickly so here's the here's the export if you if you render from Google Earth Studio and then you go file export um, 3d tracking data or actually you do the render you do the render here you're gonna get all the footage you can see here and this is something you can bring into blender I'll show it to you uh, in a bit later um, but you also have this JSX and you open it using something like sublime text for example and here's the data this is like something that's easy easy to read um, you have this position integers and position decimals the one that we're gonna need is the position integer and also we have the camera rotation XYZ that's pretty easy uh, this includes the frame uh, the frame numbers and also the position value so that's something that you can also use uh, as an input into Blender for now we, we're gonna be using this uh, position integer we don't care about the timing for now just this position if you just copy it and then paste it into blender like what I did here 
um, you just paste it into a text so this is the camera position you can see the number is really really huge I think this is like a, an, a like a real size unit in kilometer of our kind of like fly through but basically what I did is just using the text in just grab the, the camera position just load it as sphere chalk data you can select data type as vertices but anyway you you load it it's gonna take a f like a few seconds because this is like really huge number and sphere chalk doesn't like the hu huge number so much but uh, you get the data it's gonna be a factor of positions and then you kind of simply load it and then you bake it out and this is basically what you're gonna get if I get rid of the only render you will have uh, this point kind of like a point tracking points and then what I did here of course just simply using uh, spare chalk again and use uh, polyline to generate the curve and I'm also using this 3D uh, I didn't make this this is from Sketchfab something that I can download but I, I have to give credit to Rodrigoscar yeah this planet earth has a uh, three layers cloud atmospheric and then also the planet earth itself so I just bring it it's an FBX it's easy uh, you can just bring it here so we have this kind of like a line showing uh, the path of our flight from from Alice Spring again Alice Spring Bondi Beach Sydney from the, the driest place on earth into nice beautiful Bondi Beach fly through New York and Amsterdam that's actually I, I wish I can go on that trip but anyway for now we can fly um, this is the whole animations you can I can kind of play it back here as well so that's that's something you can bring into blender and then you can maybe put some kind of a 3d character I'm thinking maybe you know like a character like Superman or Goku from Dragon Ball so you, you can have the characters kind of jumping around the planet Earth but on top of that if you are like in New York you can zoom in and really you can put a point there and then kind of fly through the, the city so there's a way to do that I think if you zoom in closer you can you can do that that's actually 3d that's really cool it's almost like uh, you are flying on a, on a helicopter but uh in order to make this I, I forgot to say you you create a new and then you you use this uh, quick start point to points easiest one you can use also a blank a uh, blank project and just set up your own camera but this is the easiest one point to point what I did of course is just like fly from Alice Spring Northern Territory Australia and then you jump into one day and then you go you add another position on earth New York right this is what I did basically and then one more Amsterdam Netherlands and done so here you have all this camera fly through and you also have this everything is working and you just rendered it out uh, yeah now if you want to bring the this actual render into blender so this is another separate project I'm using blender 2.79 you can you can use 2.8 uh, in the future but for now 2.79 is the most stable is the, the official so depending on what's the frame rate you're rendering I think I render it at 30 frames per second or 24 doesn't matter keep it 24 and also this is the default of the render I believe so not 1920, 1080, the frame, 24 I think. So you just go Shift A, image, and then go to the folder where you download uh, the render, point to point, test. That's the footage that's around 686 frame. Tap A, select all. So this is uh, what you get. 
somehow it's a uh, kind of backward but I think you can just reverse it so start from Alice Spring Bondi Beach again and fly fly so that's a uh, yeah so this is the footage this is if you want to make like a video editing and cutting but you you might want to bring your own character 3d character let's say you have a giant okay you can't really zoom in with some areas but uh let's say you have a giant standing there and then kind of you jump into other place and then you do another jump yeah you got the ideas basically this is if you want to bring it into blender you just want to render it out you can simply output like ffmpeg and then encoding is going to be quick time high quality you, you can add your own audio sound if you like set it to mp3 or others and then you just hit render render the animations this one and you're done if you want to have that footage but if you want to add extra things you can also add like a 3d objects in here uh, I haven't done this much with a VSE, but you just add a, a scene, a scene. So our scene will be like a 3D scenes. Um, yeah, monkey head, giant monkey head, jumping around the planet Earth, for example. <clears throat> and the 3D scenes, you just you probably need to enable alpha or something. Transparency. Alpha over. But uh, I forgot how to do this. But you can have the, the, the 3D overlay of this on top. Maybe I need a camera or something. Camera. Lock selected. Oh well, I need to re read the tutorial again, but you get the idea. Um, yeah, that's actually pretty much it. I think I talk a lot and we talk about how we can use Svertalk add-on just to bring the camera positions. You just copy paste, basically copy paste the coordinates from JSX. Oops, look at this. From the JSX. And you can also bring the camera rotation, etc. If you have the camera rotations, of course you have you're gonna have the real kind of like have this earth and also the Google Earth footage and you actually have this path, then you can travel through the earth. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Hopefully you find this interesting and useful. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.